ROM 3 for radiator installs. Hopefully this is the last time I'll have to replace any radiator on this car. Here we have the problem and you can see that number one, it's a plastic top radiator and it is leaking or was leaking and you can see it's leaking everywhere. Armed with some hustle juice, black coffee. How do you guys drink your coffee? I prefer black, no cream, no sugar, nothing like that. I, I think that's the best way. I think that's the only way to drink coffee. I cleaned this up, but it was just as bad as the other side. And you can see that it's spewing coolant everywhere. This isn't gonna be a how-to video on how to replace a radiator, but I'm gonna show you just, you know, some of the steps that I took to replace it. And it's pretty straightforward, you know, undoing some clamps for your hoses, unbolting fans, unbolting the radiator stays, and then it just comes out. So. Um, I think you're gonna be able to see on the, the installation just how easy it is. But let me show you what I got. This is the radiator I ended up getting. Obviously, it's a coil radiator. It's a dual core coil radiator. I got this one through throttle.com. I think I got it in about three days. Um, I'm in Arizona and they shipped out through Nevada. So if you're like on the West Coast, I think that's where most of the things are gonna come from. But it was super fast shipping and it was uh, the cheapest price out there. However, I will say, these radiators do not come with a radiator cap, and if you're getting one for an Integra or a Civic, I believe, the radiator cap is gonna be different, so don't think you're gonna be able to reuse your old radiator cap because you're not. So this is the radiator cap you're gonna to have to use with this specific coil radiator. This is an OEM Honda radiator, and you can see the difference. I'm gonna call it the plunger. So, there you go. This is what you're gonna use, you cannot use that. There are several reasons that I chose the Koyo radiator over other ones. And the running was a CSF radiator, and I think that one did come with a radiator cap. But either way, I didn't wanna get Megan, Skunk 2, or Mishimoto. One of the reasons was that they didn't have provisions for the other cooling fan. This didn't really matter to me, that's a 1A PT, not NPT threaded bunk for coolant temp sensors, aftermarket. And honestly, you can't go wrong with the coil radiator. They are proven to be great radiators. These things are not cheap. The whole buy once, cry once definitely applies. If you buy one of those other radiators, you're gonna have to modify things. You're gonna have to spend a lot more money up front to get it going, i.e. fan shroud, cooling fans, and all that stuff. Now, I still wanna run my OEM cooling fans, so this is perfect. Look at that. That is also a Koyo radiator. So I'm pretty certain, pretty confident that everything is gonna fit from this Koyo radiator onto this Koyo radiator. Make sure you guys clean everything before you install it. That way, if something does end up leaking, you're not wondering where it came from because there is some leftover coolant on there. All right, cooling fans installed. Everything was a breeze. A couple things that I did have to slightly bend, but it was on the cooling fan and not the radiator. I did have to move one of the clips from this position into this position right here. But again, this is for two different types of cooling fans. So that's why they have all those provisions. OEM fresh leasing hardware because I'm not really a fan of this stuff here. The top and the bottom. I did have to slightly bend this tab right here down a little bit just so it can make clearance. And then this right here because it should grab on to that lip. Now, before you go on and install this, make sure that there is no contact with the fans and your cooling fan. There should be no contact at all. And if there is, you're gonna have to adjust something on the cooling fan, but definitely not the radiator, because the radiator shouldn't need that. And that's what it should look like. Radiator has been installed. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've actually had this installed for about a week or so, and I already put a couple hundred miles on it. I wanted to make sure that it didn't have any leaks or any clearance issues, and thankfully, nothing of the sort. For those of you still running AC, you're gonna wanna lift this bracket up just a little bit. And with a few OEM pieces, you can do that. 
Get yourself a washer, a longer bolt, and a nut. Secure this clamp from the bottom of the bracket, thread the bolt through, and then the nut. Place the washer right there, and then just secure it and tighten it. That's gonna give you that much clearance right there. Now, if you're not running AC, then you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna call this one done. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like Koyo? Do you like other brands? Do you drink coffee? How do you drink your coffee? Also, this is probably one of the easiest installs I've done in a long time. Easier than this is a cold air intake. And how hard is that? And before I leave you guys, I want you to check out c2specmotoring.com. My site is finally up. We have auto to manual harnesses, auto to manual tunnel cover kits, hardware, front and rear lip hardware, ECUs and other products available. So check it out, share it with people that you know if they're converting, even if they're not converting. Check it out. I might have something you like. I'll see you later.